So I've had a lot of people ask me um, how to get a job here in France and work here if there are career opportunities here in France. I decided to bring someone on board, someone who has been here for about two years. Today he's just going to go through some of the job opportunities that are available for non-AU citizens and even people who are in France who are looking for job opportunities. So today I'm here with Michael Akinya. Akinya. Yes, Akinya. Okay. Are you Ghanaian? Yeah, I'm a Ghanaian from the Western region. How did you get your job? Because I know you're a Ghanaian and this is France. How did you end up getting a job here in France? Yeah, okay. So, Ellen, welcome to my home and then um, your cherished viewers. Uh, I greet all of you. I came here through a program called uh, Assistant de Langue, where the France Embassy in Ghana sponsored students you know, to come here and then teach English for seven months. Okay. So that's how uh, I, I, I came here. So if the program was for seven months, yeah. how come you are still here? Because from what I know, you've been here for almost two years. Yeah, yeah. After the program, I was employed by France Education International, which is like a French education ministry. Okay. I was employed as a, a full-time teacher. Okay, so you're a teacher? <laughs> yeah, I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher in France. I, I'm a full-time teacher, okay. you know, just like the French teachers here in France. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so what are some of the career opportunities available in France for us, for non AU citizens, or for someone who is currently in France, even for the French people who are not finding any job? Career opportunities for non EU citizens. Uh, Enseignant, contract here. <laughs> Yeah, au pair. I think I've heard that, that, that too. Yeah, I've never tried it. Au pair is just like living with a family, but you're taking care of the kids. Ah, oh. Yeah, so basically, you will not pay for rent. So yep. they, are, they are sort of in, in exchange, for, in exchange okay. for taking care of the okay. kids. And then they also give you monthly, okay. no, weekly allowance. Swear I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen The scars have awoken Career opportunities for non-EU citizens uh... They are mostly English speaking jobs. I work as an English teacher. You can work at places where English is a requirement, you know. Okay. Places like um, the embassy. You can work as a secretary, a data analyst. Anywhere that English is a requirement, non EU citizens who speak English, you, you have that chance. <music>
France is that people are in need of English here in France. Like the moment they realize that you can speak English and French at the same time, poof, it's a plus for you. As long as you are able to speak English or you are from Ghana or any English speaking country, yep. you have a plus of yep. getting a job here in France. That brings me to my next question. Must you speak French or must you be able to express yourself in French in order to work here in France? Even if you have a work which uh, English is a requirement, like you are recruited because you can speak English, because the job demands that you speak English, you still have to get some level of French because you know, you, you are working with French people yeah. um, and then who can't speak English. Who can't speak English. Yeah. So if you express yourself in English and they don't understand you, at least you should have some basic level of French where you can communicate that this is what I'm trying to say or this is what I'm telling you. So the basic requirements, uh, some companies ask for B1, B2. What B1, B2? What's that? So B1 is a French level. We have A1, which is like a primary level of French, mm -hmm. A2, which is like a DHS level, a B1, which is like secondary school, school level, level. Okay. B2, like, you know, like that. If you want to enter into a university or a job that is uh, of a high standard, they ask for B2. And uh, then B2 means you have to be able to express yourself. Okay, you need to understand the language well, you know. Okay, I know what you're saying is actually very true. It's a fact because at my workplace, all the people there can speak English. So okay. I always have to try my best to express myself in French, even though I teach English. I still have to speak French. And I also know some people, some of my friends from USA, they actually speak zero French. They don't speak French at all, but they are still here. We are saying that you can actually get a job here if you speak only English. Yep. But the possibility is low. It's low. Okay, it's very low because they also want you to be able to express yourself. But if you have a little bit of French, like just a bit, like a bit of French, you are good to go. To go. So now let's talk about. Um, people who are studying here, the students over here, yeah. are there job opportunities for them? Yes, yeah, students who are studying here have job opportunities. You know, students even have more job opportunities than the others. You have, you, you can work for 20 hours and then if you work for 20 hours, you can earn like um, 1,200, 1,100 <clears throat> or 1,000 euros per month, mm -hmm. which is like 6,000, 7,000 plus in Ghana cities, yeah, you know, so students have, and then you want me to talk about the jobs they can do? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so if you're a student, you can work at a supermarket. Um, babysitting. Like babysitting. Yeah, those petty jobs, those petty, petty jobs you see here in France, like they pay, they pay to your viewers a secret. I have a friend here who is a student, he's studying, and then he has a night job. So he schools in the morning and then in the evening he works. Mm -hmm. Now he gets, he earns, 1200 euros per two weeks every two weeks he gets 1200 euros which is like 7000 8000 Ghana cities every two weeks yeah. you understand so students like yeah, you have a lot, you have of, a lot of opportunities even you know? compared to us who are doing tactics because tactics yeah, we are of sort of restricted yeah because you can't do yeah. the kind of work that we are yeah, doing yeah, and yeah. have an extra job <clears throat> yeah kind of so yeah, yeah. That's it. If you're a student, you can do any job. You can work at you can work at the hotels, uh, banks, like anywhere. If you're a student, you can you can really work and earn money. You know. I will mention the jobs again. You can try Aploway, you can try Opair, you can try Tapif. If you're a student here, you can still do the Tapif for seven months. So you can do the Tapif. You can apply for enseignant contractuel. Mm -hmm. If you are a student already, you can try the Carrefour's, the banks, and all that. And then um, this fast food. McDonald's. I forgot to mention this. McDonald's. You apply for McDonald's and then it is 100%. You yeah, get it. Yeah. Yeah. You can also apply to work at Shiva. Shiva is a cleaning agent. So just in case you want to get something. They actually pay well. You know, they pay well. They, pay well. they are just. They pay well. I know you don't do this in Ghana, but over here, <laughs> yeah, it then pays. Getting a lot it of pays. Money. I can't do it because of my contracts. So, but if. I, I had a student visa, I would have done mm. that too because they really pay well. They pay well. Yeah. I think one thing that I've also realized is that there are a lot of scams actually here in <laughs> France. Like they sort of scam you in a professional way. way because <laughs> one friend of mine has been scammed <clears throat> and it hurts. And I remember when I also came here, I was also trying to look for a side job which didn't require my visa because, like, the yep. moment the visa comes in, the embassy will be. 
alarmed that yeah. I'm trying to look for another job, yeah. so I, I have to stick to my teaching work. And so I'm, I was just on Facebook looking for a job, and I got this guy who was trying to employ me without <laughs> going through the scam. life process, not knowing he was about to scam. Right. If someone asks for your account details, your bank details, your password, it's, it's a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. If not because of this guy and I, <laughs> sure by now, the small mind that I have would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be too desperate. When people yeah, see you are desperate yeah. online looking for jobs, they will propose something to you. They will draft a nice contract and, and then that, they will send it to you when it's you fake. Look at the message, oh God, like you, you. I was so in love, like. No, Selana. Why? In France, we say Selana. <laughs> <laughs> so, like so don't be too desperate online trying to look for a job and then verify with people who have already been here before you send any of your details don't even send your details anyway for, don't send it, yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone you've met online you've not met before and then yeah, the person starts asking for your bank details just to give you a job it's fake yeah true, so like true. these are the ones that we know for now so you can try your hands on them and you never know you end up getting it because i applied for tapif and here i am so of course, yeah, me too. Yeah. I apply for Tapif. I thought and now I was going to be a contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you can try your luck. But please yeah. make sure you have a little bit of French. It's actually going to be a plus for you. Of you course. Know? So, you let me know if you try any of the jobs mentioned here or go through whatever we talked about here. And let me know when you're going through the process. And if I have anything to do to help you work it out, I would be available. Just contact me on Instagram. I'm always available for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I also try my best to bring people here to talk about um, scholarships in France. We'll talk about the schools in France to apply for. We'll talk about how to earn more money, like whatever to help you also become the person that you want to become. I'll try my best to produce that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for sticking and staying with us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, my name is Ellie Faith Monroe Do subscribe and please follow him. Yep. on Instagram for me, okay? I'll see you next. Ciao!